All right, this one might actually put a tear in your eye. This one goes pretty deep. We have a back and forth between Brian Tyler Cohen on the left of the screen and also on the left politically, some, you know, far left whack job that wants to give everybody free paid sick days. And he's going up against America's sweetheart, Tommy Lahren. And they're doing a little debate about the coronavirus response, if it was effective enough and uh, what could have been improved on. And as always, don't even pay attention to the arguments. Just watch the optics of it and we will see who comes out victorious. Uh, here we go. The second point I'll make is that Tommy uh, uh, speaks about the fact that there's a 97% survival rate. So what she's basically saying is that she's willing to sacrifice 3% of the population because God forbid she can't go out and live life as if nothing is different whatsoever. All right, uh, a lot of red flags from Tommy Lahren right off the bat. Um, she just looks really angry. I feel like maybe things haven't been going that well for her on the dating scene. Kind of like what he just pointed out, how she can't live life um, like normal. I, she probably just got back from a really disappointing date at Buffalo Wild Wings. And uh, this guy, I think he looks pretty good. He spiked his hair, so he looks cool. Kind of looks like a cool substitute teacher or maybe even like a high school history teacher. Um, he looks good. He kind of looks like me, actually. So I think that's why I think he looks good. But... Um, I'm just not impressed by Tommy Lahren so far, but let, let's see where this goes. Maybe she redeems herself. Which is especially ironic, considering, like we spoke about last time, this is somebody who has fallen over herself to wail about how terrible Benghazi was when four Americans have died. Now she's willing to sacrifice 3% of the population because she can't go out and live completely normal as if there's no pandemic. All right, things are starting to get a little tense, and I like that they cut to this moderator guy because uh, when he came on the screen... I actually started to feel a lot better. Something about his energy, uh, even though he hadn't said anything, just the way that he was kind of carrying himself through that monologue uh, really made me feel good. So I'm actually rooting in favor of the moderator so far. I actually really like um, what he's offering. So let, let's keep going though. Let's see if anything changes. Finally, the last point I'll make. Look, he's just such a nice guy. Look at that smile. He just got that little, you know, he doesn't want to make anybody unhappy. He's just in the middle. This guy looks like he really would be like an amazing centrist. I should probably reach out to him. Um, let's keep going. Uh, with regard to Trump and his, and his uh, wonderful handling of this virus, Tommy, you're not just lying. You are obliterating reality. Trump did not... And again, Tommy is really crumbling here. I mean, if you watch her face, she's getting more angry by the second. All of these different, you know, bad dates at Buffalo Wild Wings, I think, are really starting to wear on her. And she's really eager to get out of the pandemic um, at least that's my theory, but just keep watching her and you'll get more and more turned off by the second. Respond effectively. He did not shut down the country. He did not take decisive action. He didn't save millions of lives. Trump pretended it wasn't real. He said it was contained, that cases would go down to zero, that it would go away with heat, that it would miraculously disappear. He said anyone who wants a test could get a test when they couldn't. He fomented protests. I can't hear this guy anymore. I don't even really know what he's talking about, but he's very high energy for me. Um, kind of making me anxious. And Tommy, not impressed at all. Kind of a disaster of a performance for her. Um, I get it. You know, I mean, if, if, if the dating scene is not going well, I don't think she's going to find the type of guy that she's looking for at Buffalo Wild Wings. I really think she should try to expand uh, and go to different places to meet guys because, she, you know, she's a really deep thinker. She needs somebody who's an intellectual and she needs somebody who can, you know, talk about stuff like trickle down economics after sex um, or even role play as Ronald Reagan. And I don't think she's going to find that at Buffalo Wild Wings. So that would be my advice to her. And in terms of the optics, I think, uh, you know, this moderator just won hands down. He looks like a really sweet guy. He's handsome as all hell. And I bet he has a really good relationship with his wife. She's really lucky to have him. So, um, yeah, that's our lesson for today. Um, I don't even know the name of this moderator, but he won. I'll look it up and I'll get back to you on that one. But that is our lesson for today in optics cucking. Um, this is Gail Chula reminding you to stay grounded and stay centered. This is the Radical Centrist. <laughs>